dedicated bike lane. Almost no cars down here. Let's check out the bicycle ride. It goes Petaluma Boulevard south and then down towards Novato. As we leave town, Petaluma Boulevard goes underneath the 101 freeway. That's the smart train bridge behind me, that green thing. And the river's right next to me on the left. And then as Petaluma Boulevard merges into 101, instead of taking that right, we're gonna go straight and stay on the bicycle route. The river's not that far to the left there. It almost pops out in a couple places. I'm looking to see where that dredging equipment is. I think it's behind me upstream. No, nope, there it is, right there. So right here, I'm gonna turn right. And this is the super cool part I want you to see. It goes underneath the freeway. And it's really, it's a dedicated bike path. Check it out. It's really a sweet little spot under here. Cow fields in the direction we're headed. Past the Institute of Noetic Sciences. As you keep going south, you'll come to the uh, on-ramp, San Antonio Road on-ramp on 101. And right behind me, there's a dedicated bike path that starts up again. And you can take that all the way into Novato. Haven't done it, but uh, from there, you should be able to go surface streets and maybe some bicycle paths all the way to Golden Gate Bridge. By the way, this camera doesn't do it justice. Where's that sun? You can't see it. This has to be like the weirdest air day of the whole fire season, September 8th. But I came out anyways. I can't stand being indoors all day long. So come check it out. It's a fun ride. You can go as far south as you want. You can see where I left Petaluma, went underneath the 101, past the Green Smart Bridge. And then I came all the way down here. I went back underneath 101. Here's where that cool cow pasture was. And then down here is where San Antonio Road on-ramp is at the 101. From there, you can continue on all the way down into Novato.